So, you're back for another story, huh? Well, maybe this story is about you. But maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. Our story begins in the workshop. Maybe one like yours. Where disorganization reigns supreme and a maker needs to get organized. Our maker is soon to find out that the surprising thing about organization is that sometimes you need a robot to make a robot. I recently got a One Affinity CNC machine, which I am super excited about. But one of the things about getting a CNC machine is that you have to get a lot of bits. And so I got a lot of bits, but I don't have anything to organize my bits. And I didn't want to do something stereotypical like a square block with holes in it, anything like that. I wanted to do something unique and creative, but since I don't know much about the CNC yet, or designing or drafting or anything like that, I needed something that was just basic shapes. And luckily, Claptrap is basic shapes. The idea for this project came from a picture of a towel of Claptrap that I saw online and wanting to have some sort of project to test out on the CNC, but one that wasn't too complicated. The second I saw this picture, I knew it was perfect. So the first thing I needed to do was take the picture into Inkscape and trace it all out. With all the shapes traced out, I took it into carbide to draw my tool paths and then sent it over to the CNC. When trying to think of what species of wood to use for this project, I was thinking about using catalogs like I did for the Spider-Man headphone stand. I wanted to use a darker species of wood so that the raised portions kind of looked like line drawings like the cell shading art style in the game. But I don't have enough scrap catalogs left to do that, so I'm just gonna use some black walnut. Believe it or not, that is my entire lumber supply. So I'm just going to uh, prepare a piece like that. I know it's a faux pas to paint wood like walnut. I understand that. That being said, uh, I wanted to give this piece some color to make it look aged. So what I figured I could do is to paint some of the areas, let it dry, and then sand and scuff off to make it look like weathered and old, but still have the color and the texture and the grain of the walnut underneath. The finish that I put on the tray in the video, it's a really simple recipe that I got from Anne of All Trades. It's equal parts polyurethane, mineral spirits, and boiled linseed oil. So there it is, the claptrap tray. Uh, I am so excited how well this turned out. Even though it was basic shapes, I was able to pull it off, even though I don't know much about the CNC. If you like this project and you want to make your own, I have a link to it down in the description. Hit that like button and subscribe if you already haven't. And I've seen my analytics. I know that most of you haven't yet. And a big thanks to my Patreon supporters for help making these projects possible. And until next time, 
Go build a good story.